Blender version 4.3 is here now, and with it Machine Tools 1.11. Some of the changes it brings are related to Grease Pencil, which has been rewritten from the ground up. There are some elements in Machine Tools that touch on Grease Pencil, in particular the Modes Pi, of course, but also the Tools Pi. And while working on these Grease Pencil changes in 4.3, I've taken the time to also build a note tool that allows you to quickly add textual notes in specific areas on your design or scene. For instance, say you want to add a note right here. Just point the mouse to where it should appear, and bring up the Tools Pi, pick the Note tool, and you can start writing. And for what it's worth, the cursor is only blinking that fast due to the screen recording. It shouldn't be that fast when you do your notes. To finish a note, you press Control Return, or left click with the mouse. As always, check out the status bar for all options. Now this blue on blue is a bit unfortunate. If you want to change a note's color, you need to change the annotation layer's color. You can access these while you have one of the native annotation tools active. Of course, had I been in single color mode, it would have been no problem and the default blue would have worked just fine. You can see these notes in material shading or rendered shading as well. They won't render though as they are just annotations and not real geometry. And because these notes are just annotations, you can erase them like any other. Understand that notes don't exist as scene objects, just on annotation layers. But that is because I'm still in Blender 4.2 here. I will cover the changes of this tool in 4.3 in a bit. The Note tool is by default in screen space, which means notes are aligned horizontally with the view's x-axis. And so if you rotate your view like this, then your note will be vertical. You can also choose to align it to the x-axis of the 3D cursor, and what's important here is not the location of it, just its orientation. Here I start writing and it's still aligned with the view as before, but once I toggle it to cursor mode via Ctrl S or C, it will align with the cursor. You can even do multi-line notes. And you can go backwards by doing Ctrl W. Or you can clear everything by doing Ctrl U or Backspace. To change the size of a note, scroll with your mouse. If you zoom in and add another note, it will be the same size relative to the screen as before, but since you zoomed in, it is now much smaller comparatively to the previous note. But again you can then scroll to adjust the size on top of that. And in 4.2 at least you can go really crazy with this and really zoom in a lot to create microscopic notes. Now you can put notes on different layers too. And let's make these new ones orange, maybe for a different kind of note. Because these notes live on the annotation layers, they will always stay in place, even if you move the underlying objects. This is different compared to Blender 4.3. So there are benefits and downsides in each Blender version as you will see next. Maybe in future Blender allows us to combine the benefits of both approaches. Oh, and by the way, if you access the annotation layers manually, you can toggle layers individually of course. But more convenient in most cases is probably the Hide Annotation tool. With annotations hidden while you create a new one, they will then be revealed for you automatically. I like to use notes as reminders for places I want to come back to later. Maybe I have an idea for what to do with a specific area, but would rather focus on the bigger picture first and not get bogged down with detail work for instance. And also, if you're working collaboratively, you can of course leave messages for your colleagues in this way too. This is Blender 4.3 now. Let me show you how the note tool differs here. Again I point the mouse and invoke the tool as before. And you notice the note is not blue, but gray. Why? Because the note is a grease pencil object now, and like any other object in solid single shading, it takes on this color here. The actual note color will only be visible in material or rendered shading now. The reason for using note objects in Blender 4.3 is that the API for annotations got minimized and basically doesn't allow you to create annotations by code anymore. The official recommendation is to use Grease Pencil instead. Under the hood, annotations are still based on the previous Grease Pencil version, but I hope in Blender 4.4 they too will be updated to use Grease Pencil version 3 types. But anyway, if you switch to solid object shading, or even solid material shading, you will have colors here now. This is because the Note tool not only sets the Grease Pencil layer's tint color, 
but also the object's color. And it sets the grease pencil's material color as well. So three colors at once. And you can tweak this color from the tools pie once you select the grease pencil object, either from the layer panel here or exposed directly for quick access here. So you can turn this into a green note like this. And now, not only has the layer color been updated, but also the object's color and the material color. If I now add a second layer on this object, tint it red, and then add a new note on it, it should become red too. But if I now go back to solid shading, you will see that the other note now also is red. That is because both notes are part of a single grease pencil object, and an object can only have one color. It's similar for materials, and actually, note materials are shared across all note objects even. Both are done to minimize scene and file clutter. If you absolutely need different materials or need multiple object colors, you can always duplicate the objects or materials yourself and set things up like you want. And so this is a bit of a downside maybe, but the benefit in 4.3 is that notes are now parented to objects, and so they will move with them. So as you can see here, if I add another note over there, it will be parented to this other object now. And now in solid material shading everything is blue, because they still only share this one note material, and its color has just been updated to be blue again when I added a new note. It's fair to say in 4.3 things are definitely not as flexible in terms of using colors to differentiate between various types of notes, but that's really only an issue in solid shading. I still think it's super useful, however. Adding notes spatially exactly where you need to is a powerful tool, and at the end of the day it's about the context of your notes, not their color. If you ever struggle to read a note because you are in solid single shading, you can set the layer's blend mode to multiply via Ctrl B or Ctrl M. Everything else still works the same. You can change the size, you can go back word-wise, and so on. As before, notes will be screen aligned by default, so you can still rotate the view and add notes in any orientation really. There is another annoyance in 4.3 that affects the minimum size of a note. It turns out that grease pencil strokes, unlike annotation notes in 4.2, have a world unit width hard cap. That means you can't go below a certain size, not even if you scale the object itself. This tiny note here, for instance, will not be legible due to its stroke thickness. It is roughly one centimeter in size, so it seems like you can't go smaller than that in 4.3. Toggling notes is the same as in 4.2, so you don't have to micromanage the note objects yourself. And in 4.3 the tool toggles both now, the note objects, and the regular annotations created with native tools. And just like in Blender 4.2, adding a new note while previous ones are hidden, will also reveal them all again. Another important difference in Blender 4.3 is, that while you can erase regular annotations normally, you can't do the same on the grease pencil notes. So, if you want to remove an individual note or a part of it, and do so without removing the entire note object, then you have to select it and go into draw mode. At this point you can pick the grease pencil erase tool and start removing things. However, if you then look at the actual grease pencil geometry, you will find that for some reason there is still plenty residual geometry left. So I would suggest you just delete things in edit mode instead. Edit mode then also offers an advantage over Blender 4.2 as it allows you to move, scale and rotate notes after they have been written.